to our channel and welcome back to another video for new subscribers hello welcome so in this video I am going to be showing you the process of remaking traditional Albanian clothing and I'm going to be showing you right now what they look like and which parts I'm going to recreate and what I'm gonna use for that so first of all I am doing this because I am invited to a TV show that we're gonna shoot tomorrow and in that TV show we are going to be making a special edition episode for the Independence Day of Albania if you don't know I'm an Albanian from Kosovo so we do celebrate Albania's Independence Day so yeah we're going to be making a special edition for that and as a guest I am going to be making to be remaking our country's like traditional clothes there's also going to be traditional dancers and everything, but I am going to use my crochet talent to share my gift with those who watch the show, so yeah. So I'm going to show you what the clothes look like originally. So like, this is the base like dress that you wear. It is long, very long. And then you have this kind of vest. I don't know what you would call it in English. So yeah, you would wear this over the dress. And then you have this thing that you put on your back and tie on the front. And then we have the last one, which is this one. And this one goes to the front so as you saw the dress is like not defined on the waist and stuff and then when you wear these and tie them you have to tie this on the front and this on the back you define your waist and stuff and then with the vest it looks also cool and I will show you when I wear them because I will wear them for the TV show and yeah, I am going to be recreating these red parts that I just showed you, including the vest. And that is going to be it for this video. So keep watching. I forgot to mention for this project, I'm going to be using a 6mm crochet hook. And I am going to be using this yarn. It's from Turkey. I guess I got seven skeins of this yarn so you can see there's a much yarn in here so much and then I have black yarn that I'm going to use for the corners and the details as you saw so I'm just putting it there because there's so much yarn I should have done a yarn haul And then, for another detail, because I'm kind of fancy, an extra, I bought this glittery gold yarn. Oh, it's so beautiful. I always liked this yarn, but I didn't know what I could use it for because I don't really wear gold stuff. And it is a perfect for this project because look at the gold detail in here it is glittery too and using this yarn for this part would be so cool and i know that this is kind of fuzzy but i don't really care because i don't have to make everything in the same way that this is so if I want this part to be fluffy I will make it fluffy and it will look so cool you will see let's get started
Atëherë këto janë pjesë të kuqe që i kom bëmë të orë, kjo është i liku, kjo është pjesë apër para që i kemi po dhe i kemi pjesë më apa që është më e vogël. E kom gjithë edhe shamim për me u do këtë tamën së tesha këmëtare dhe fusta njëllë në kemi fëtëshme. E ku i valentë në këtyne, munë me kalëzu edhe qysh jonë konë më apër para për me po dalimin qysh i kom rikryone dhe qysh jonë konë. Kjo është i liku që ta shë kom vesh këta që e kom po vetë, do me thonë kjo u ku një gatë shumë. Kjo është pjesa për para që tash e kom vejsh këta që e kom bo vetë. Edhe e kemi pjesën e vogël për mrapa që e kom vejsh praf ata që e kom bo vetë. Do më thonë, krejtë kjo më ka marrë dikon dy dëtë me përfundu, kam pjatë vikendin edhe përfundu vasot në mision këtë me juve. Falem dirit krejve që nga kanë ndjek edhe nëse dojnë me bo nëjë përësius e veç me pytë qka dhe që kanë për biznesin tam, munën me më shkru në Jarni Handmade në Instagram edhe në TikTok.